Hey guys, how's it going? I just want to say thanks for all your support and prayers in this rough time that I've had with my apartment and everything, my vehicle, and I want to say that the prayers have been answered and the vehicle is fixed. Uh, at least it's been working for over a week now, and uh, so I'm very grateful for that. It's uh, It's been over two or three months of you know stress going back and forth to two different mechanics. I first originally went to my mechanic and industry that I've always went to for a long time just because, you know, just to kind of be loyal to him and figure he's going to give me the best prices and, you know, he's been doing it for a long time. He knows vehicles pretty well. And the first time I took it to him, you know, my vehicle, it was having problems starting and then it was stalling while I was driving, which is a pretty bad problem and I had no idea why. I took it to him and first time he didn't really experience it it started right up when he started it because sometimes it did start right up it, it was you know random sometimes it didn't stall while I was driving and uh, so he didn't have a lot of issues you know he didn't notice it <clears throat> he told me maybe I had bad gas and then you know that the gas had too much water in it and I should get some you know fuel injector cleaner get some get some heat get some you know gas treatment and so I didn't have a lot of money at the time, so I got some cheap stuff from Casey's gas station. And, uh, you know, I don't know how good it works, if it does or not. And uh, anyways, it didn't really seem to help. So I waited until I got paid. I got some more higher priced stuff, you know, the, the name brand stuff that he actually suggested to me. I tried that. Still didn't work. So I took it back to him. Uh... And I don't know how many times I took it back to him. I think twice there could have been another time in there, but one of the last times I took it to him, he took it for a spin, and it stalled. So he noticed it stalling, and then he thought maybe it was the fuel pump. And he told me if it was the fuel pump that he couldn't replace it because he didn't have the uh, tools at the moment. So I thought, okay, I'm going to have to have another mechanic check it out. So, I decided to find a mechanic that was close to me. It's actually really close, uh, you know, within walking distance. And um, it's like an auto body repair shop, like a towing center. Anyway, I took it to him, and uh, he thought he checked the fuel pressure, and so he thought it was the fuel pump. Um, problem though is that when he took it for a spin the hood flew up I guess because I didn't have it latched all the way and shattered the windshield so he had to get a new windshield uh, he did replace the fuel pump and then he noticed that the check engine light was on so he scanned it with a scanner to see the code or whatever and it said that it was the crank sensor and so when I went to get it back, he had it for like over two weeks. And, you know, so I'm already over like a month or more into getting this checked out and having the problems. And, you know, I'm having to start to walk back and forth to work and everything, which is fine. It's not far, you know, if anything, it's good exercise that I need. But still, uh, you know, anyway, so when I picked it up, it was $600 to get the windshield, to get a new windshield, to get a fuel pump, which was the most expensive thing, and then the crank sensor, and then all the labor and everything. And so I thought, $600, you know, it's going to be working. And when I get in the vehicle, I notice that the fuel tank's like on empty, like all the way. And I knew that I had like half a tank of gas in there or more. I thought it filled it up, I think. But anyways, I was like, okay, whatever, they ran it out of gas. And so I drove it. And um, I drove it home. And then I was going to go drive to get gas in it. And just like a block away from where I live, it stalled. So I was like, oh no, it's not fixed. You know, this isn't good. And uh, I've continued to go put gas in it, and the gas meter didn't raise. 
So I was like, okay, now there's another problem. The gas meter isn't working. So I called the mechanic up, took it back to him, and uh, told him about the issues. And he ended up getting the gas gauge to work, and he replaced the crank sensor again. He thought, you know, there, the, a code popped up again. He checked it. It said the crank sensor still. So he replaced it again. I guess he got those parts from AutoZone. And uh, he told me, you know, he thought it was working again. And I went up there, and basically the same thing happened, except for the gas gauge was working this time. But I took it home, and when I went to leave again, you know, just a block or two away from my home, it stalled again. Uh, so it was very upsetting, you know, just after paying to get it back and everything, it was, you know, not working again. Anyways, so I waited for a little while, didn't really know what I was going to do about it, and, you know, don't have a whole lot of money to invest into it more and stuff, and so, anyways, I finally took it back to him, because uh, I knew that there was an oil change that needed, like, months ago, and so I didn't want that to be another problem, and so I thought, you know, just have him do an oil change, and have him uh, check the battery and just little things like that to rule out all that stuff. And so I took it to him and you know, I called him and asked him if he found anything or anything. And he was insistent on wanting to get another crank sensor. And so at first I was like, you know, I don't want to pay for the same part again if it's just, you know, it doesn't seem to be working. And he said, you know, I want to get it from a different store, and try, try a different one. And I asked him, you know, how much it was going to be and stuff, and he said that he was going to try to get a refund from the other parts. So I was like, okay. Well, that's fine, then go ahead and try, you know, what you want then. Well, this time he got it from O'Reilly. He got this crank sensor from O'Reilly's, and uh, it worked. So, I mean, for the last two weeks, it's been fine. But that was a process of over like two months and you know I made a lot of videos whining about it and stuff but it was really stressful you know I couldn't easily go and, and mow and uh, you know couldn't easily go and get groceries and stuff like that I mean everything's within walking distance pretty much which uh, I'm really lucky uh, the grocery store is a little bit further but uh, you know I'm blessed to be where I am you know I'm still blessed through all this absolutely you know, I don't want to take anything for granted that I have here, but it was stressful, and, you know, I, used, I still drove it even though it was stalling sometimes, you know, if I, if I felt like I had to, I still, I still took it sometimes, but, yeah, it was just not good, but it's, it's fixed, so praise the Lord, and top of that, I've just been, uh, I've been pretty busy with work working a lot extra and you know f during that time you know I had problems with my apartment where they were redoing the floor and I had to go stay with my mom and uh, and all that stuff so that was just stress on top of stress but it's all over now the apartment's all good the vehicle's fixed praise God and hopefully I'm gonna be slowing down on work a little bit too because that's kind of prevented me from working on a lot of studies. I've tried working on studies. I've got a lot of things almost finished, but you know, uh, the eternal sonship of Christ. A long time ago, I wanted to work on that. You know, the stuff on Calvinism that I started and um, the transcendence of God. Started working on that. Started working on a commentary or expository for. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, which I've really been working on a lot, and I want to make videos for all this stuff, but I just haven't been able to focus because it's just been like work and sleep, and I've just been exhausted, but, uh, so, see, so just stick with me guys, and I just want to say thank you for your prayers, and God bless.